Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we'll be discussing about phone number OSINT. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts or give some suggestions or be part of the community, you can check out uh, my discord server link uh, the link is in the description below so guys this video is regarding phone number osin so to uh, to put it clear so let us assume that you got a phone number so whether it can be from like some spam number to your mobile phone or uh, whether you try whether you are trying to do a pen testing where you try to find out the phone number few phone numbers and stuff so what you can try to do is like you can try to extract some information from the phone numbers also okay uh, so guys uh, this video i'm going to show you some few uh, uh, web applications or a few tools that you can use so that you can try to find out the information so this video this is like part one guys and in part two i will be showing uh, regarding command line application so there is a command line tool as well in order to extract the information but now uh, we'll be using a simple browser or uh, like any application you can use any simple browser or you can even try to do this on a, a mobile phone as well you don't need to have a laptop or anything like that okay mm -hmm. so first of all we'll start with google uh, google.com so i got a, a sample number guys here so this is a sample number so the reason i choose this number is it is a samsung uh, uh, what you call a uh, samsung customer care number so samsung customer care number so I'm going to use this number because like I don't want to like showcase any real number so like we all know how you can find the number so one example you can try to do is like you can uh, go to like, if you go to a web application you can in about us you can find out few numbers or something like that okay so finding number is uh, def dependent upon you through ma any means you can find out the number so let me copy this number and also guys uh, one advantage of this thing is like uh, let us assume that someone is uh, uh, trying to do some spam calls or anything like that okay like you can try to figure it out who are calling you okay like some guys anything like that so what i did is like it did a simple search guys a google search and you can see like by default you can understand that it is a samsung service center okay so that is easy thing and also guys uh, sometimes you can try to use some google docs okay let us assume as this is a uh, what you call uh, like a customer care number you can find it everywhere but let us assume that you got a normal number a 10 digit number so you can add some uh, dorks like uh, twitter.com there is a dork called as site so with the help of this dork you can add some few web application okay let us assume that uh, i did a, a sample search like uh, i mentioned i'm i'm only looking for the results which consists of this particular number you can find out some lot of stuff here like you can go to this uh, any of these tweets and you can try to find out the information so that is the thing like not only twitter guys you can go with anything so anything in the sense like in a web application let us assume in some microsoft.com or uh, even instagram.com or any uh, application like you can provide the domain and you can search whether that particular number is available or not so if you if you are able to find out that particular number then you can get some information from there and and guys the next application here is sync.me so this is a web application guys so what you can try to do is like uh, you need to mention the for uh, your gmail account you need to log in first of all and the catch here is guys uh, i will tell you what the catch is so when you are giving your primary email so there will be some permission being asked okay like uh, it will access all your contact so let us assume that this part uh, this is my primary phone okay uh, this primary phone consists of some like uh, 200 or 300 contacts and all these contacts are synced to my G uh, google account or gmail account so what happens is like it asks for the sync it asks for the permission to access all the contacts so it will be problem for you as well as the one who uh, ones who is having number in your phone because it gets synced there so you can use it you can create a fake or a secondary gmail uh, which you don't sync or you don't uh, worry about if even though if it is lost okay you can create a, a, prime, a secondary stuff and you can go ahead i logged in already like the reason why i'm mentioning it is guys like not only in india so people might be watching from india afghanistan america or anywhere else 
so you can uh, get the thing done here okay so the advantage uh, the the reason i'm showing you is because of that and even there is a google play application guys but i don't recommend doing that because you can simply do a google search like you can go to a browser and you can search like uh, the reason why i'm uh, not suggesting you to install this application is like these applications are resource hungry they run in the background and they consume a lot of battery so that's the secondary point so we'll go with the phone number here or the phone number that we are looking forward for and i'll click search here so it tries to provide some information if it is not there you can see it is like samsung support uh, if i click on more information it is asking you to look for an application but uh, like it serves the purpose okay it serves the purpose like not only this samsung support like the even this is like true caller guys even i'm going to mention i'm going to mention true caller a later part of this video but this is also like a true caller like you might not find out all the stuff from the true caller so you need to find out few alternatives as well so this is one cool application that you can check out for okay so and the next one is as i told you earlier true caller so true caller is like legend here okay uh, almost everyone in the world uses this particular thing like uh, it helps you in doing a lot of stuff there okay so you can try to mention any phone number like not only in india you can any number like foreign number or anything like that and you it will get the thing done so let me search for a small number here so you can see it is a samsung uh, customer support uh, you can see even there is lot of stuff going on over here like if you take sync.me here there are uh, there is only few in few information that you can find out but in true caller we all know that i don't want to explain all this stuff but you can see there is things going on over there their address like sometimes you might even find gmails like this is like a normal customer care uh, uh, like number guys but if you take a real number like even i had seen even i used true caller and i seen like people mentioning their facebook account google account gmail account like they mention everything even their photo as well so true caller is also a good thing that you can check out so that is it guys for this video this is a single part guys and in the second part of this video i'm going to show you uh, a cool tools uh, which you can use from the command line interface like uh, if you are not interested in doing this stuff like using web applications etc like that you can simply go to uh, like uh, you can use some tool uh, which is command line inbuilt and uh, you can try to find out the information from there as well so that is it guys for this video i hope you really like this video and if you really liked it make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and that is it guys for this video this is sarvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you